Without the help of volunteers, the Duxbury Rural and Historical Society would most likely not be where it is today. Several times a year, the volunteers hold what they call a brown bag lunch, get together, to discuss future plans and hopefully even recruit some new volunteers. We met up at the Nathaniel Windsor Junior House in Duxbury to attend their latest gathering. Several years ago, we discussed having a gathering for our volunteers to be able to all get together and exchange ideas, get to know each other if we're not on the same committee, and uh, have a social time as well as impart information. So out of that came the brown bag lunch. For a brown bag lunch, people bring their own lunch and drink. We set up tables ahead of time, and we have a program, which is supposed to last somewhere around 20 minutes. We, because we know that if with a group of people, we're going to want to do a lot of talking. So it's half social, half informational. Uh, we have discussed procedures. We've had, like today, a program on how to dress a mannequin or other educational kinds of things over the years. We meet uh, probably about quarterly. We have a brown bag lunch, and it has grown to include people from all the committees, gardening or publication or docents, so it's grown in the past two years. I've only been volunteering for a few years actually now, um, but at Christmas time I do the Christmas committee and help organize the party. I get all the sponsors for the Christmas party as well, and I decorate a room, a small room, with my friends um, also. And I've also hosted parties at the house to raise awareness for the Bradford House, which they're refurbishing, which is a big project. And now I'm the chair of the volunteers. I checked off a box on like my 30th year of being a member of DRHS that said that I was interested in textiles. And a couple of months later, I got a phone call and I started, jumped in on the textiles committee, which uh, had two people on it at the time. And uh, I have, I've learned so much uh, without volunteers, the staff at DRHS would not be able to take care of everything that they have in their collection. The game plan is when people send in their, I guess it's an update of what they want to do or they're joining the historical society, they check off a box that says they want to volunteer. So basically my job is going to be to place them in something that interests them. So if it's just something little, like maybe they like to hang pictures or maybe they like to clean. Who knows what they like to do, but whatever it is, hopefully we'll be able to find a spot for them that makes them comfortable because we have tons of openings. 